Okay, so today is Wednesday. Come Friday, I have a deadline to complete this video. I've had the feedback from the client, which is Angela Thompson, and she has said that she loves the video, but she has one request. Can I put a copy of her book in the video? The only problem I do have is I don't actually have a hard copy of the book. And by the time I can get one sent to me, you know, the deadline's passed. So how can I do it? Of course, I can make it pop up, you know, at the side of the uh, new screen. You know, here it is, there's a book, look, there's a front cover. Have a look, buy it on Amazon, yeah. But that's all well and good, but it just doesn't fit the video. If I pop it up, it just seems a bit jarring. And for me, that's not good enough. So as a creative I am, I've decided to try and recreate a hard copy of the book using what I have around the house and some of my software. Okay, well, let's just see if I can achieve this. First thing I need to do is grab a book. So I'm gonna be capturing this on the coffee table of my living room. So I want some natural light coming in through the window. Hit record. Now I could make it easy for myself and just set up a tripod, capture five, six seconds of it, and then take it into my software and edit from there. But the rest of the footage has a little bit of movement in it and it will stand out like a sore thumb if it's just a still image. So I have to add a little bit of movement. Bingo, that is footage captured. So I bring the footage back and I add it to Adobe After Effects, which is essentially a special effects software for filmmakers like myself. And there's this cool little thing in After Effects called camera tracking, which essentially finds little anchor points within the video footage that you can attach a, you know, a video or an image or a bit of text, and it will stay in position even if the camera and the footage moves which makes it easy then for me to put the front cover in one position and for it to stick to the front cover of the book within the footage. As you can see, it moves with it. So I mold it a little bit to make it look like it is part of the front cover, only I'm still not happy with it. It just looks a little bit flat, like it's not meant to be there. So we go into Photoshop and I've had a look at the original front cover and kind of looked at where the light was coming in. So I'm gonna add that to the front cover and a little bit of shadow where you know it needs to be just to make it look like it's 3D and in the real world. And bingo, there it is, it's done. All I have to do now is add it to the original video. Now Angela, my client, has her book displayed within her video just to showcase and show that, you know, there's more strings to her bow. Okay, so for someone that's well versed in After Effects, I wasn't a huge undertaking, but the day I learned how to, you know, use all of these tools was, you know, it's a game changer for me. Um, just you know, brilliant as a creative and I just wanted to give you guys a little insight into that and the things that I do for my clients that you know generally get unnoticed you know but they make all the difference to a video and that's what I want I want you know, the best for anybody that I work with anyway hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah see you around